Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I don't have my uh, phone on a tripod to record. That's because I'm going to be needing to hold my phone for this one. Today, I am going to finally do a room tour, anime collection tour, video, you know, all that. I actually wanted to hold back and do it when I felt ready to do it. Obviously, that's probably going to be never because I'm always growing my collection and I and because of that, I always feel like it's not the right time. I mean, I can always do update videos, but anyways, I'm kind of forced to do it now just because I am moving out. Such a weird thing to say. I feel like I, it feels so weird to say that, but I am moving out. It's official. So I thought I would go ahead and show you the room where it all started <laughs> and uh, the place that has been my comfort place for years and the place that has been so kind to me and held all the things I love inside. No matter how much space I ran out of, it, I was always able to figure out a way to um, make room for the stuff that I love. And it's all because of this room. <laughs> um, so today I'm gonna try not to cry about it because I really, I'm happy I'm moving out, but I, I'm so sad that I have to leave this room because I really, I don't think I've ever loved a room this much. Anyways, let me stop rambling on. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and um, follow me on Instagram so you can see more of my collection. Maybe you'll spot some of these stuff that are already um, on my Instagram. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, and I do wanna warn y'all, my room is messy, okay? Well, it's not messy, I shouldn't say that, but I haven't had a chance to like clean it the way I want, want it to be clean. So a lot of like the figures and shelves like that are dusty, so. Don't judge me, I've been busy. I barely had time to find a time to record this video. So don't judge me, plus I'm moving out, so I don't think it really matters. And probably by the time you watch this video, um, I'm already moved out. Okay, so when you first walk in, well, first of all, this is by the light. It's a Sakura decal that I got like five below. I don't know where else to put it. I guess I should have just put it on my car, but she's there now. She lives there now. But anyways, um, so this is like the view of when you're by my door, doorway. So I have my dresser over here, right? And then on top of it, on top of my dresser, I have this. This is a mess, okay? <laughs> I, I don't really like this but I had nowhere else to put these things. So they sit there for now. I do like that the Nana figure is over here with the strawberry cups, but I wish I had somewhere else to put this. Sorry, my floors are squeaking, but I, I wish I had somewhere to put these guys so this Nana can sit in the center at least uh, because I think she's great as a standalone or the, they're great as standalones. And then of course we have the strawberry cups, uh, the little bonus magnet. There is the Nana. She lights up as well, the lights are up there. But I have the Pop Mart Nana figures. I wanna open these so bad, but I also don't at the same time. So they kind of just sit like that. I do like how the boxes go together. Like it makes a CD and then the title is also connected. And then I have this giant official promo poster of uh, Tokyo Mew Mew that came out years ago, hung up over here. Okay. Um, here is just some like random uh, Black Butler and Case Study of Anita stuff that I didn't know where to put. It's a CL in Wonderland. I got these a long time. Well, I got the Black Butler one a long time ago, like years ago. And I think it's so cute. And then I have little knickknacks over here. This little Aaron, these little Sanrio little figures that came out of a blind box that I got or blind bag. And then I've got Satoru and uh, Suguru. And then we got little uh, mini Bungo Stray Dogs keychain figurines, some Watamote, some Black Butler, some Link Click, acrylic blocks, and then we got more uh, Bungo Stray Dogs. These like acrylic stands are huge, y'all. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Like, okay, that's a canvas. Look how tall that Daza is. Isn't that so cool? 
Um, and then I have that Dolls Eye Acrylic Stand that matches the canvas art. I love this style of Dolls Eye. I love this illustration of him. He looks so gorgeous. So, you know, I had to get both. Um, okay, so there's that. Um, I have these two acrylic panels. This is from uh, the recent light novel that came out of Bungo Stray Dogs from the day I picked up Dazai. That's the cover art. Um, it came with the light novel when I bought it. Uh, and then this is one of my favorite illustrations or like moments in the 15 arc of Bungo Stray Dogs with Chuya and Dazai just being kids and playing at the arcade. And then I have these two shikishi boards of one of Black Butler and then one of Case Study of Vanitas. Um, these I don't really want here. These are sitting on my vanity, but I had nowhere else to put them and uh, I didn't have time to figure out where I wanted to put them. So they just sit there for now. And then at the top of my vanity, I got this at a convention. It was like a little bonus thing that the artist drew. Um, so she gave it to me. And then I have this uh, Noragami, I forgot what they're called, but you write your wish on the back. And then these like, bonus wand stickers that I got from someone I bought Bungo Stray Dogs stuff from. Um, <laughs> look, Octagon was my favorite. Anyways, so there's those. Oh, hey guys. I have this Pluto drink can from Sailor Moon. I have all of them and I'm collecting the cans. Uh, I recently got that, so I just have to rinse it out and let it dry before I put it with the rest of them, but I will show you the rest of them. Um, I have the whole collection now, I think, so. Um, so there's that one. Uh, she is going to be moved with the rest of them. She's just sitting there to remind me that I need to rinse her out. Um, and then here, um, here is my little coffee station. And then next to the coffee machine, um, I have like cafe themed, food themed. I, I want to say anime acrylic stands and anime merch, but it's literally just Bungo Stray Dogs and then like one Yato mug over there. Um, the goal is to get other like characters from other shows, but the Bungo Stray Dogs ones are just so cute. I mean, look, look how, oh my God, this is so cute. And then Chibia wiping the little mug. Look at that. Oh my God, Atsushi's little uh, tiger latte. And then we got uh, Dazai and Fyodor to match. And then we got this like big acrylic stand of Dazai. Uh, and then little Lucy. And then just bingo stray dogs mugs and then i have oh these are oh these are coasters and then i have the sorry it's like wrapped so it's like the reflection sucks i have the chuya coaster and then i have the chuya stirrer or muddler to match isn't he so cute i'm never gonna use it i want the dazai one but i can't find it anyways i and then i have a bunch of napkins and this is pissing me off this empty space so we're gonna do that okay <laughs> if you know me and you've watched other videos of me, you know I'm a huge, like two things that I absolutely love and that calm me down and just make me happy is of course my favorite characters, comfort characters, and then cafes, cafes or like just coffee related stuff, bakeries, that kind of stuff. So I have the best of both worlds here. So I have the little coffee station and when I move out, these are obviously gonna go in my kitchen. Um, I have to be careful of where I put those though in my kitchen just so they don't get ruined, but oh, I'm so excited. Okay, anyways, um, that was a lot of rambling. Here I have some pins and buttons. Uh, I don't collect buttons, but I got these like a long time ago before I started actually collecting anime merch officially, and uh, I still have these. These are like Haikyuu, Sailor Moon, Tokyo Ghoul, Watamote, and then there's one Seraph of the End. A pin or button and then I have these enamel pins that some that I got from conventions I made these two and then I made that darling the Franks one and then these are like official vintage like Tokyo Mimi ones those I'm really happy that I have and then I have this like acrylic uh, keychain or like not not just acrylic keychain I guess charm slash clear file slash illustration postcard um, thing plus a My Littlest Pet Shop uh, toy that I grew up with, so. Anyways. <laughs> and then we have, oh, we have this uh, tapestry of Chia, and this matches the cafe theme over here. I do want to get the Dazai one. The Dazai one is my favorite. I think he looks the best um, between the two. There's that. It's like a mini tapestry, not too big. Doesn't take too much room. And then here, um, this is my desk so I guess like my desk area 
like this. So we'll start over there in that corner. Um, I have these three new plushies of Chuya, Dazai, and Fyodor. I ship Fyozai, like I said, and Sokoku, so I put Dazai in the middle so he's like next to both his ships. Gotta think about these things. And then I have this Umaru, um, like, stress ball that I don't, I never use as a stress ball because <laughs> I don't want to ruin her. I got her at a convention years ago. And then I have that little Zenitsu over there. And then here I have my uh babies i have alba over there and she's not with the rest of my figures because of alba's like alba's i guess work ethic is that the word like um i don't know she like cheers me on in a way um she inspires me too the way she works and everything so she i look at her when i work for her motivation and stuff like that and then i have dazai and then i have chuya and then up here i have my wall okay the goal was not to make this all bungo street dogs but it happened and then at the top corner here i have the sokoku art you cannot tell me they're not canon um here is like my nightstand let me move my chair that don't pay attention down there anyways uh <laughs> here's my nightstand uh, I have, I don't collect manga, but <laughs> this manga is so hard to find and I finally have the complete collection. So like, this is like a throwback manga of when I used to wait for my mom to pick me up in high school from school and I would go to the library and just read and I picked up this manga and I fell in love with it. And yeah, there's no anime of it, unfortunately. I think there's just like a live action movie. And I, I love this so much. I think if I like went back and read it, I'd probably see all the flaws that it has, but it just holds a close place to my heart. Uh, I have this art book of um, Horimiya. I have this, this Bungo Stray Dogs light novel of Stormbringer. I have the first, I think that's the first volume of uh, My Hero. My brother gifted that to me. Uh, and then I have Sailor Moon. I have all the... Tokyo Mew Mew manga uh, I think that's all oh and then I have these two fruits baskets I got when I was like very very little I was in elementary school my sister actually stole them out of the library <laughs> so um but my dumbass I was little y'all okay I was like very very little uh I think I wrote no I think it was my little brother it was either me maybe it was both of us um we wrote in pen on it so that's unfortunate. This Miku is a bootleg that I got years ago um, before I started collecting figures at like those anime stores in the mall. Um, that is the new light novel that I have the matching acrylic panel of from the day I picked up Dazai from Bungo Stray Dogs. Uh, I have this Lucy card that came as a bonus with something else that I bought. It's like a little letter she writes to you. Is not she not so cute? I love Lucy. Very underrated. This is like a bookmark that just came with mail that I bought uh, and then we have uh Dazai and Chuya oh I'm so sorry about the dust Jesus um we have Dazai and Chuya 15 noodle stoppers of course I don't use them as noodle stoppers and they are just chit chatting about life and falling in love so look at them are they not cute moving on where do I go okay up here um <laughs> All of this is just Bungo Stray Dogs acrylic, well, Bungo Stray Dogs acrylic stands, and then acrylic stands and like panels and plushies. That's it. So um, we will come back to this. I will show you a closer look at this because I gotta like step on my bed to like re reach the camera up there. Um, we will come down to my bed. Um, first things first, this is, I think the first ever Yato merch that I got, or an origami merch, I don't think it's, it's not official. I got it off eBay years ago, um, but it's a little pillow cover and it has Yato on it because I could never find any uh, Noragami merch, so. And I thought this was so cute despite it being, I mean, the, the pillow is like flattened to death with my big ass head, but look at that, cute. Um, so there's that. I have this heart pillow that came from Target. I have this giant mammon body pillow. Um, he's double-sided. Here are my plushies that uh, live on my bed. I got all these sleeping Bungo Stray Dogs ones. Oh my God, y'all. Okay, moving on. 
I have this bootleg uh, Keto from Cardcaptor Sakura that just lives on like the thing for my curtains. Uh, he's dirty. It was I gave it to my brother years ago, uh, and and then I found him thrown somewhere. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna rehome him by me. So there we go. Uh, and then over here we have my another like set of plushies, another home for plushies. These are like specifically ones that you can hang. Uh, these are like the Nitotan, so I have all of the Jujutsu Kaisen ones. I, no, I don't. That's that's a lie. I don't have all the Jujutsu Kaisen ones. I don't know why I said that. Uh, I have a lot of the Jujutsu Kaisen ones. I have one CL. Uh, I think that's from Book of Atlantic CL. And then I have Juzo and Kaneki in his ghoul form from Tokyo Ghoul. I have Eren from Attack on Titan. I really do want Levi. And then I have all the Bungo Stray Dogs ones. And then I have that Mammon plush. And then I have uh, these Bungo Stray Dogs bunny plushes. And the capes come off and they're so cute. So this was wave one that came out uh, a while back. And then wave two recently came out for, for the new characters. And look at Sigma. Is he not so cute? And then look at Nikolai's like card comes off. Or it doesn't come off. You can lift it to see his other eye. And then I have Venetus and Noe plushes. And then I have these Honeyworks mascot plushies of the two pandas. I forget their names, but they think they're so cute. Um, on top of that, I have this framed Dazai and Chuya artwork that came from one of the museums or exhibitions in Japan. Yeah, clearly it doesn't match my room, but it's one of those things where I'm like, I like the colors don't match my room. But it's one of those things that I'm like, this is so freaking cool. I don't care. I'm getting it. And I did. And look how cool. Anyways, moving on here at the star of the show. How am I going to show you this? My bed is in the way. I have, oh my goodness. How am I going to do this? I have my shelf. <laughs> I only have two anime shelves or like bookshelves. I'm surprised I was able to fit all of these figures in them. But anyway, starting from the top, bunny figures behind there are like, let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, behind there, I have like this double-sided uh, die cut cushion. And one side is Vanitas, the other side is Noe. Um, I have these three bunny figures. These are the only bunny figures I own. Uh, I like to keep my bunny figures minimal, at least for now. <laughs> And I've been very successful at that. And then I have, these are bootleg, the two Tanjiro and Zenitsu together. Those are bootleg, I got those off AliExpress. But that was like during the entertainment arc. And I thought they were so cute when they dressed up as girls. I really wish they made Inosuke. I haven't checked recently, so maybe they did. But anyways, there are those, they're bootlegs from AliExpress. I have that noodle stopper of Zenitsu. And then, let me see. Let me try to zoom out a little. Okay. I have another shelf of acrylic stands. Uh, I got the top ones of Tokyo Mew Mew. And then I have like these, what are they called? Diorama. Uh, ones of Obeymi and Attack on Titan. And then I have a Mammon one over there. I have those two blue exorcist ones. And then I have these like cute rainy mini acrylic stands of Tokyo Mew Mew. I have these beautiful, Noragami, Yato, Hyori, and Yukine acrylic stands. And then I have this adorable um, crescent moon hanging acrylic stand of um, Case Study of Venetus. Moving on, I have, here I have all the Sailor Moon cans. I need to find room for her because they don't fit up there, but yeah. Anyways, and then I have Heaven Officials Blessing figures, these cute ones, or they're so adorable. Oh my God, look at that. And that one's like a picnic one. I'm sorry, this angle is so bad. I don't know how to record. I'm short as hell. I'm standing on my bed and doing this. Uh, and then I have these two adorable, like the cutest Fruits Basket figures. And probably like the only Fruits Basket figures minus the Nendroids. <laughs> so there are those. And then over here, now I can get off my bed. Hold on. And then over here on the corner, I have these cute Nesso, I think they're called Nesso booties. Uh, Nessa booty plushes of uh, Madoka that I got years ago at a convention. I heard she's pretty expensive now. I don't know if that's still true, but yeah. 
Um, and then I have uh, these recent Dazai and Chia 15 ones. And they're, they're so cute. Are they not cute? Oh my God, look at them all together in the corner. Anyways, and then I have these like prints up in the back that I got from artists at the Artist Alley at convention, uh, at conventions, sorry. And then on the side of my bookshelf, I have more prints. Uh, my fan is in the way, sorry. Isn't that Ojemajo Dore Mi one? So cute. And I have Madoka at the bottom. Now, showing my actual figures, this is the left bookshelf where I have my Nendroids. I got Haikyuu, Vanitas, uh, or sorry, Case Study of Vanitas. I have Black Butler. I have um, Sasaki Tomiano, and I have Bungo Stray Dogs ones. I got Demon Slayer ones. I got these awesome throwback free figures that I love. Um, and then I have Kill a Kill, Chainsaw Man with little Pochita. Look at him, he's so cute. Uh, okay. And then I have this cute little Momo one from free because there are no figures of Momo except for like this one. Anyways, I'm bitter. And then the second shelf, um, I have these, I have both Gojos, like both East Room Gojos because I can't decide. So, when in doubt, buy both. <laughs> and then I have Yuta with Rika. And then I have the amazing Noragami figures. I don't have Bishamon, I kind of want her now, but these were the two main ones that I wanted. And then I have these Black Butler Nendroid dolls that made me um, hate Nendroid dolls. This was such a struggle to put their clothes on. Anyways, uh, that's another video or something. And then we have these awesome, like, first ever scale figures from Link Click. So there are those. I got these instead of the Nendroids and I really, really like them. And then we have the very, very, very much Holy Grail, Mirai Kuriyama from Beyond the Boundary. Look at her, the only figure of her that exists or figure of anyone in the series that exists. Love her. Um, her face does look a little dirty and like the color is very muddy, but I love her nonetheless. And then we have this Ash Lynx figure. She's holding a rose. That rose will be the death of me because it always falls out. Okay, and then we have more banana fish. We've got, um, obviously these figures are not organized properly because I have banana fish here and then I have banana fish up there. So I plan on organizing them eventually. So another Ash figure, another uh, Ash and AG figure. Uh, that one is my holy grail. And then I have this awesome but frustrating to have and put together and dust and just handle in general cowboy bebop figure but i love it so much it's so cool i mean look at that they come as two separate figures and then when you put them together like they make one background that that has the title of the series it's so cool anyways and then we have number six nendroids and then we have Oran high school house club nendroids and then we have this throwback rika figure um and then we have uh mommy misato Okay, moving on, I have my Bungo Stray Dog shelf, at least one of them. This is unlicensed, but it's so freaking cool. The lamp lights up. Um, it's the Dazai and Chuya Dark Era or Mafia um, figures or Double Black figures. I think that's the name, like official name for it. It's so cool. Look at them. Um, and then I have these Swatch Out figures. Uh, these are my only Swatch Out figures. I only bought them to see what the hype was. Turns out there is no hype. <laughs> Um, anyways, they're still cute. Uh, and then I have these two Dazai and Chia figures. This is supposed to be taken from a scene from the series or one of the episodes when these two reunite for the first time and like fight together. And then I have more Boonga Stray Dogs and Androids over here. And then I have a Dazai and Android doll. I am getting the uh, Chia Android doll that recently, well, it's been a while. It's been up for pre-order for a while. Um, and then I have back here, I have the like one seven scale, one of the first, I guess, Bungo Stray Dog scales that ever, ever came out of Dazai. And then I have this is also not unlicensed, but it's so freaking, look at how fine he, look at that, Jesus Christ, this Chuya unlicensed figure. God damn. Anyways. Um, moving on down here, I just have a bunch of plushies and stuff like that. That wire is to plug in the figure for the, like, the lamp for this figure. So, just a bunch of, like, random plushies and then these Demon Slayer look-up figures. 
so there's that moving on oh and then on the first shelf i have the cl plushie that just hangs onto my shelf okay moving on middle of my shelf i have these all the bungo stray dogs pita nui plushies that also hang on to my shelf so here's like a little zoom out of that right right oh i, I can't fit octagawa in the frame but he's there <laughs> there we go i'm like losing my voice now top shelf magical girl figure shelf the two beautiful ichigos in the back always make me happy from tokyo Mew Mew. i have that sakura um scale figure that i got for free because it arrived like literally there's broken and there's like shattered it came in shattered so i got a refund for it but i got to keep the figure too um and then that madoka figure is one of the very first anime figures i got uh from a convention and then i have that creamy mommy is she not so beautiful she's stunning and then i have like little tokyo Mew Mew figures over here that are so cute that one came with like a game but i didn't get the game i just got the figure and then that one came uh, on its own i guess i have this adorable madoka figure that sits she's so pretty she's like one of the prettiest madoka figures i own um and then these two sailor moon ones cute little parfait and then that like crescent moon one i think these are stunning and then we have the Madoka Nendroid. I think this was like one of the first, if not the first Nendroid I've ever gotten. Or no, it's not. I think it's like the second or third. And then I have these very frustrating to own and handle Majumajo Doremi Nendroids. I hate them. I love them, but I hate, like they, you can't touch them, like at all. You can't breathe near them. Anyways, uh, and then I have this adorable Amu that was a recent addition to my Magical Girl figure collection. Uh, from Shugo Kiara. Second shelf. Okay, here's like the, the view. We got the Love Live Valentine's Day scales of Niku, Niku? of Nico and Maki. Then we got this adorable Cyan scale figure. I lost her guitar pick. I am very upset, um, but moving on. Let's forget about it before I start crying. And then we have this stunning, adorable, I love her so much, Megumin figure. And then we have my very first, very much only Miku scale figure. And it is the Tricker Miku. Sorry. She was very much a Holy Grail. Um, and then I finally got her when they re-released her. So is she not so adorable? Anyways. And then we got the boyfriend from Skate the Infinity. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like tripping over my words now. I need something to drink. Uh, and then we have, we have her from Kimi, no to, Kimi ni Todoke. Um, beautiful. Watamote, Marin, Kayon, Holy Grail Kayon figure. Uh, I do want to complete the whole set, but she was my main priority. I think this was my very first Nendroid of Rin from Love Live. And then the adorable Anya figure. I have it set to my birthday. Uh, I just chose Saturday because I like weekends. I like Saturdays, so <laughs> there's no particular. I don't know what day I was actually born, but it was the 25th. <laughs> um, okay, next shelf, we have the amazing Nana scale figures. So cute. We have the Radio Eva Asuka scale figure. I am obsessed with her. I cannot wait for Kaoru to come in. Hopefully he's just as good. And then we got Chitoge. I love Chitoge. This is the best Chitoge figure out there. I will fight everybody on that. And then we got some uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid figures that are very, very cute. And one's cafe themed. Okay, moving on down here. This is the second part of my Bungo Stray Dogs shelf. So this is the left side of my bookshelf. That is the right, so it continues on like this. <laughs> First up, we have that unlicensed Chuya figure, Dead Apple version that, I mean, frick, guys. I unboxed all of these figures, by the way, on my channel, so if you wanna get like B-rolls and stuff, definitely recommend go watching those. Um, and then I have these two pop-up parades of Daza and Chuya. 
super cute. And then I have that Mafia Family uh, Dazai. He's all right. Looks could have been better, but you know, can't be all perfect. Uh, and then we have the recent wedding figure that I already uploaded a video on. Uh, go check that out because uh, they're officially married now. So Sokoku shippers, you're welcome. I married, I legally married these two. So it's, it's official. They're canon. Does this not look weird though? Like dark, 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 dark wedding light. Love is in the air. Last shelf we have. I know this is all out of order, guys. Like, I have a Magical Girl figure shelf up top and then regular anime and then Magical Girl again at the bottom, but I had nowhere to put these. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. <laughs> okay, I have the original. I have a lot of original stuff. So I have the original Ojimaja Doremi uh, tap. I have the flower tap. I have the Tokyo Mew Mew original Strawberry Bell. I have Tokyo Mew Mew um, dolls, like keychain things that I never took out of the bag. I have the whole set. And then I have these like stationary Tokyo Mew Mew stuff. And then like a little gift pad bag of uh, Ichigo. I have the original, God, I don't know how to say it. Poperuto, Poran or whatever uh, set. And then I have the Shugo uh, Kiara wand, heart wand. And then I have the special memorized Tokyo Mew Mew, um, Strawberry Bell, and then just some Sailor Moon wands as well. And Creamy Mommy, special memorized. So that is my magical girl shelf. Okay, so now that was my figure shelf. Now if you move on here, in between I hated like this empty space. So I added some prints. So we've got all of these prints. Look how cute this art is. Anyways, all these prints, these ones are official, some official, some are not. Okay, I still have empty space down there, but at least I wanted to get rid of the empty space in my like eye view. Um, and then here I just have my purse with like little keychains and little acrylic stuff and enamel pins. So I got Dazai and Chuya at like a theme park. I got um, the Burai, Buraiha Chirio. I got Link Click, I got Ango Odasaku, Nana, more Nana, Dazai, and like Armin's Blanket from Attack on Titan Junior High, and then Atsushi. And then these I also plan on like unboxing. I think what I'll do is I'll unbox this and these together and it'll be like a little ma magical girl haul because I have other magical girl stuff coming in, so I'll wait till I get more. And then I have more stuff. This stuff, like acrylic stands and stuff like that, and like these. I usually just um, film unboxing for those on TikTok, unless like I have a ton of stuff, then I'll do like a YouTube video on them, but I have these Skip and Loafer ones too. So cute. Okay, moving on, over here. I have more art to fill in like empty space. So I have these Bungo Straight Out Shikishi boards. Um, these are from a blind box, but I got the whole box. So I got everything or everybody and they kind of glimmer. I don't know if you could tell. I put them like, I don't like sticking stuff on the actual back of the product so I just put them in like uh, cellophane or whatever it's called and then I s stick like tape or I stick those little clay things at the, in the back so it doesn't ruin the actual art um, same with these some are official art some aren't okay so there's that and then up here I have I gotta zoom in for this but I got, uh, I started a little Bungo Stray Dogs enamel pin collection up here. So there's that. This one, this middle one is just strictly Sokoku ones. Um, and then I don't, I don't have enough to fill, but I'm hoping to get more. I have some coming, but yeah, not enough to fill the whole thing. Okay. So now let me take you up and show you the top shelves of all my Bungo Stray Dogs stuff. Here we go. <laughs> It's like embarrassingly a lot. So for shelf, I have these Bungo Stray Dogs Sanrio plushies that I love so much. And then like two Dazai and Chia plushies. And then I have these acrylic stands. And then I have this acrylic panel of the Budai Ha Trio and then Stormbringer uh, acrylic stands. And then we got Budai Ha Trio, Nendroids, and then um, Bungo Stray Dogs Beast acrylic stands. 
And then here's where they all are. These are like dusty, so forgive me. I'm just gonna go through this, like just pan through this because I have nothing to say. They're all Boogmo Stray Dogs. So that was it. That was my room tour. So sorry I was a little bit rushed. I didn't want it to be perfect, but I wanted to wait till for the right time and I guess it never came. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you inspiration maybe or whatever. Um, and I guess on to the next and I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye bye guys.